So a lot of exciting things happening in the C-Series uh, since uh, my last update. Uh, here you see FTB1 preparing for its next flight. Uh, beautiful weather, so it should be a, a good day today. Um, so, so far since the last update, we've completed actually over 190 hours of combined ground and flight testing. And I'm happy to say that uh, all these tests uh, were successful. We validated our design and uh, basically got all those tests uh, completed. So actually another feature really important about the C-Series approach, it is different than what we've done in the past and what the industry uh, typically does. We've invested heavily in our ground testing program and we've linked it very tightly with the flight test program. So our strategy is really to make sure that we can get the ground testing done, validate before, and find out any problems so we can fix them quickly on the ground. It's very efficient to do that. And really focus the flight test program, not on testing in fact, but actually validation. And, and uh, that's actually working out really uh, great for us. So really happy with the approach and very happy with the results. Although today is a really nice day up here in uh, Mirabel, uh, winter is coming. And uh, fun fact, actually, we've already, uh, actually the C-Series has already experienced its first snowfall. And uh, of course, as we approach the winter season, uh, we have actually a, a unique flexibility due to our uh, fact that we have various facilities around North America. Although the flight testing will be primarily based here in Mirabel, it's, uh, it's always our plan actually to use our facilities in Wichita. And uh, that gives us flexibility if we have like a period of weather that's challenging or specific conditions that we want to find weather-wise, then we deploy the aircraft down to Wichita. So where do we go from here in the flight test program? What are the next steps? So actually now uh, we are flying in direct mode and uh, that's the plan. I'm going to go uh, step by step to increase the uh, envelope of the aircraft. What does that mean? It means essentially we're going to fly actually faster, uh, we're going to fly farther and uh, we're actually going to take the aircraft to higher altitudes. Uh, once uh, those phases are completed step by step, then we'll kick into what's called normal mode for flight tests and uh, that's actually how the aircraft will be normally operated in service. So far the uh, flights of the C-Series FTB1 have typically been between uh, one and a half and four hours in duration as planned. Uh, we've gone up to a maximum altitude of 25,000 feet and that's important because it allows us to test our pressurization and heating and uh, cooling on the aircraft. Also in terms of the speed envelope, we've gone up to 340 knots, which is actually Mach 0.6 and uh, that's actually pushing the speed envelope. And as we go forward, we're going to continue to increase the altitude and the speed and uh, duration of our flights. So stay tuned. Thank you very much.